What's up everybody and happy Friday. It's actually a little after 5 p.m. And what's crazy is I recorded this video earlier but realized that it wasn't recording the whole time. So um, I got busy with my day and I haven't been able to really sit down or do anything until now. My hair is in this crazy bun because I was so busy today. Like I just got very annoyed with it on my back it's just been a crazy day i'm not gonna lie honestly it's been a crazy week and it's that's so strange because you know i had labor day off so it's been a shortened week but it's been a crazy week nonetheless um through it all though god has been good there definitely were a lot of highs i've been interviewing for a different position at my job which you know if you pray to jesus christ shout out my name um, and really just really, this week has really stretched me in different areas. So I'm very happy about that, but I'm also even more happy that it's the weekend. And today I'm going to take uh, some time to have a well needed de-stress and me day. So let's get right into today's video. Cause I actually have to run out of here in a little bit to go to my workout. So as always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. Today is our last day talking about laboring our fruit. So just to recap, as I always do this month, our goal focus was to be fruitful. And last week we identified what our fruit was this week. We really talked about laboring our fruit. And in that we're talking about, um, working hard in order to yield the, the best variety or not variety, but the best fruit. And it could be in a variety too, but the best fruit, um, that is just, uh, nourishing not only to ourselves, but also to others around us. Um, and so we identified two questions or two, well, two main questions when we're talking about laboring our fruit, fruit is how to labor our fruit, which that's what we talked about on, um, on Wednesday where the different areas or the different ways that we can, um, labor our fruit so that again we get the best yield out of our fruit and then today we're going to talk about why you would want to and honestly I mentioned it if you caught on I mentioned it just a little bit ago but the the fact of the matter is I cannot tell you why you should want to labor your fruit it should be something in in you that is that should want to honestly of course I can give you a general answer um, because you know your fruit whatever you're producing it's going to provide growth and development for yourself and the people around you. You'll be able to be used differently by God, which is actually very exciting for me when I'm thinking about the reasons why I want to labor so hard in my fruit, because I know this is like the based on the purpose and the gifts that God has given me. I know that laboring in that area to yield the best fruit is going to allow me to be used in a different way by God and also allow me to know him a little bit deeper, a little bit differently. So that's exciting to me, but you really have to understand why you yourself should want to labor your fruit. Um, first of all, we need to, last week we made sure to identify whether our fruit was a good fruit or bad fruit because you, you could have good fruit and then you could have bad fruit, okay? We wanna make sure we're on the good fruit side. But um, if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, that goes for anything. But if you don't know why, you don't know what your end result is, you don't know what you're producing, you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, then stop. Take, just pause, I'm not saying stop and give up, but just pause and really understand what the purpose of it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, for example, like an apple farmer, I'm sure, you know, when he planted the seed, he wasn't, he wasn't just thinking about, you know, how beautiful the tree is. I'm sure he was thinking about that at first, but also what are the benefits of an apple tree or an apple farm? Not only does it provide nutrients to, you know, him and his family or her and her family, but also to others around. It could provide financial benefits as well if you sell the, the fruit. So similar, similar thing, okay? Make so sure that make you're sure. understanding the why behind whatever you're doing. And especially when you're talking about the things that you are producing, whether that's tangible or intangible. So in the form of businesses, um, real estate ventures, families, family, your family is a, a one of your fruit or should be consider one of your fruit because it's something that you have produced and then intangible things so relationships or well the uh feelings or emotions within the relationships and things like that so make sure you understand the why okay understand the why um tomorrow i will be going live and i promise i will be going live i know 
the past couple weeks or the past couple times I was supposed to go live, I didn't really go live, but tomorrow I am going live. So stay tuned for that. I'll make sure to post it on both the IG and the Facebook page. But hope everyone has a good rest of their day today and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.